Yeah, I've learned. I'm. I can definitely speak on this subject. I lost lots of friends mm. in my life, but specifically, I lost one friend recently. My very, very, very best friend, and mm. I learned. I was very. I mean, I'm still very sad about. It. I think about it every day, but mm. I learned that people mm. change a lot. People literally, just because they're one type of person, that point in time does not mean they're going to be that person forever like people can literally change their entire like their values the way they treat people the way that they see the world the way they see themselves like it can all change like in front of your eyes and that happened to me so I would say be honest with yourself and don't like idealize this friend as you do with people who you used to date like sometimes you look back and you're like oh they were so good they were so perfect and maybe they were maybe they were really great to you but That doesn't really matter because if that person is no longer in existence, then you're missing something that doesn't exist. So I would say be honest with yourself. And Mm. um, it's almost like they died. But yeah, I relate to that. It's like I miss the person that I used to know, but you have to you have to acknowledge they're not there there anymore. anymore. Mm. So you You really have to ask yourself. And honestly, it's really therapeutic to talk to the friend about it. I did that. I literally cried on the phone with this person like Mm. you don't exist anymore this sucks like I miss you but like that's all I can do like it felt really good to be honest with her and to let it all go lay it on the line whatever be honest with myself but eventually you just have to move on and let it go because people change and certain people can't be in your life forever and honestly if someone's not in your life anymore it's probably for a reason and it was probably for the best